Hey everybody, welcome to this Spectral Layers Elements noise reduction tutorial. Now, this is the audio file we'll be working on here, and uh, listen carefully to the whole thing. It goes on for a while, but there's a lot of information in here that uh, you're going to find very useful. So, here we go. <laughs> Analog tape echoes are well known for their full, rich sound. The tape loop inside the mechanism builds up ghost images of all the material that it's recorded during a take. I recorded this riff several times in a row through the space echo. The analog tape picks up the structure of whatever's going through it and regenerates it through the system. It sounds like this. Now here's the point where the tape loop goes through its full cycle. And this is part of the magic of analog tape echo. In a typical noise print based noise reduction scenario, the engineer clicks a learn button in a noise reduction plugin. And when he does that, the plugin takes a snapshot, a full spectrum snapshot, and uses it as a noise print. But there's a problem with that. If I use a full spectrum selection as a noise print, then the material from the bottom end all the way up to about 900 hertz gets included in the noise print. In this particular sound file, the most important space echo textures are the ones located in the bottom end up to about 900 hertz. I can use my rectangular selection tool to select this region and audition it using the spacebar. Importantly, this is the zone that we do not want to include in any noise print that we use for noise print based noise reduction. Now, this is where the genius of Spectral Layers noise print based noise reduction comes into play. I can actually make a selection that excludes the space echo ear candy in the first thousand hertz, go to process, noise reduction, register noise. When I click register noise, it registers my selection as the noise print. Exercising your own custom spectral layers generated noise print is easy. I just go back over to process, select noise reduction, open the noise reduction window. And here I have a couple of controls to play with. The tolerance control is like a threshold control and the reduction ratio is like an intensity control. So let's move my tolerance up to about 6 dB and then increase the reduction ratio a little bit so that we have a very pronounced result that you can easily see in the spectral graph. Now I hit OK and uh, the process happens. And there we go. A whole bunch of that noise has been attenuated. But the cool thing is that my space echo sweet spot, that part of the signal that I wanted to preserve and protect from the noise reduction process, is left completely intact. And now we have a nice clean noise reduction process that affects only that which we want to see affected. The richness of the unaffected frequency range sounds warmer and more prominent. The elimination of noise in the upper range really makes those pick articulations stand out. Engineers and music producers like to say that they can see between the notes. In this noise reduction process, we can literally see between the notes. The pick articulations come forward and the music is a lot more open and spacious. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial in Spectralayers Elements. <laughs>